All right, so I'm riding at like one watt per kilo, which is about 90 watts, 100 watts, 90 to 100, maybe a little bit some more sometimes. Like I'm com I commute every day, you know, on my bike, and uh, I'm on this beautiful stretch of the road here. Let me show you the, the, the watts. I love the bike that I'm on. Even though it's got disc brakes and the bike is steel and it's heavy, it's just so comfortable. The tires are like really wide. And so like Massachusetts roads aren't perfect, but um, so, so like the big tires are comfy. Check it out. A lot of traffic, so I had to step on the sidewalk a bit. This is like the sidewalk. <sighs> so honestly, my training is weird, right? Cause, you know, I don't know. I used to work myself to the bone when it came to riding, but it kind of burned me out. And I was like, I don't want to keep riding anymore. Like I almost started buying a car. I gotta shift, hold on. I almost ended up buying a car. And now, like, I mean, I could probably push two watts per kilo, which is like 180, but then I'll sweat. And I don't have a problem sweating, except, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I do have a problem, right? Because otherwise I push, but. Today's just a beautiful day, it's chill. I just want to enjoy my ride. Maybe I should push more. I don't know, some days I'll push more. Some days I won't. It all depends. I'm about to go on my trip to Guatemala. And then I'll be heading to the Philippines in November. So I'll be riding a lot over there, you know? Well, hopefully, that's the plan. On the uphills, I tend to do more watts because, I don't know, maybe I go so slow and I'm like, I want to go a little faster. But also I noticed it's much easier to push a little harder up the hill. Check out this hill, check out this hill. Beautiful school. 